dreadful, in the words of Will from the Inbetweeners. I'm so gutted. I, I genuinely thought I'd do well with Gagagars. And I did, well, I potentially could have done if I hadn't made that stupid misplay against Gary. It's why, why, why did I use Imperm on Core and not Nashta? If I did it on Nashta, it could have changed everything. Um, I mean, he still would have probably made Seager or something. Yeah, that's something else that was really annoying about Seager. Like, I didn't know his effect to boost a machine could activate at any time. I thought it was only... Um, if a Cyber Dragon monster battled. Annoying. Um, would it have changed anything? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd like to think things could have changed if I didn't mess up. Um, would the result have been different? I don't know. I mean, it potentially could have been. But no, I lost everything, and three of them were to decks that I fucking hate Cyber Dragons, Flu and Sky Striker. Um, <clears throat> yeah, didn't draw any of my sided cards against Giorgio. Um, and against uh, Tom and Hazel, I did see sided cards, but every time I did, drew into fuck all monsters. Like, the hell was that going on there? Um, and then I learnt that apparently Nibiru does nothing against Flunderies. Like, I thought it would, but I guess I fought wrong. Then again, I don't encounter it very much, so I couldn't, I wouldn't have known that. Um, and yeah, there were actually five rounds. I uh, ended up playing against Sean, as in the original Sean from DU, um, uh, which was a nice surprise. This was the first time in four years that we played against each other. Unfortunately, he was playing Sky Strikers. Um, I did well in game one. Um, he didn't see Ray, but I was able to stop any uh, link plays that he did to get around that anyway, and, and I won. Um, and again, I saw a sided card, Grand Horn of Heaven, but it did nothing, and I just drew bad. And then, of course, I finished dead last. Um, so annoying. And of course, I didn't get paired against Jude again. Like, I swear, like, at least regarding uh, the first round, the pairing system is rigged because I never get pitted against him. Like, I mean, sure, like, after round one, it didn't help that he was winning loads of games and I was losing everything, but still, like, other than that, I feel like it's rigged. Like, why, why, why do we never get pitted against each other? I'm starting to think maybe I should change my strategy and um, just use uh, my more superior decks, as in the Epic Elite ones, um, just to increase my chances of actually winning more games and getting pitted against him. But not Dark Magician, though. Um, I mean, even though Kashira may or may not be a threat, Bistials are definitely a threat again, um, even if it's just Dragon Link, um, because that's seen a rise in play, and I can't risk my Dark Magician getting banished. Like, I just can't. 
then again, that being said, um, I might as well just give up on this conquest to try and play against Jude. Like, what's the point? We never get paired against each other, and uh, besides uh, the match I had against Gary last week, I can't fucking win any games. I mean, if this keeps up, there's just no way I'm going to qualify for um, that Masters Invitational thing in February, so like, what's the point anymore? Um, of course, that being said, I do still at least want to use Exodia in the next tournament, like uh, whether it's at Dead Universe Comics next Wednesday or the next Tabletop Republic tournament in two weeks' time, because next week will be a casual session there, um, and I will go anyway. Um, And provided Jude is there for those, I think it might be just better if I directly request a game with him and just try and get in as many as I can until I win. I think that might be uh, the only way I can actually get paired against him. Tournament play just seems to be too much of a lottery. Um, Um, so yeah, I still would like to use Exodia in the next one, like I said, to celebrate 19 years since I started playing in tournaments. Um, and like I said, this was the first deck I ever used in a tournament. Um, but other than that, um, I might as well just give up playing in tournaments. Because what's the point if I don't get the pairing I want and just keep losing all my games? Not that I usually care about winning or losing, it's just that the more games I seem to lose, the more it decreases my chances of both getting paired against him uh, and qualifying for um, that Masters Invitational thing. Not that I care too much about that, I just wanted to try my luck and see if I do qualify. I don't even know if those casual tournaments are appealing either, as I've noticed um, uh, there was some annoying deck that ran Archibald Christia. Don't know what it was. Could have been agents, or it could have been something else. I don't know. Um, I heard volcanics was used last week, and as you guys know, I really don't like volcanics. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's a chance my mind will change, but. Um, I just don't know. But hey, at least I didn't play against sprites this time. And um, <clears throat> it didn't look like anyone was playing Kashtira. So I guess I probably don't need to worry about it anymore. Maybe. I don't know. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? I think that's it really. Um, so I'll still come to that casual session. Um, I might actually ask uh, Hisham and Bilzy if they can help me with those requests. Um, the battle war between Dark Magician, Rockets and Crystal Beasts and another one which is between Dark Magician, Elemental Heroes and Rainbow Neos. Unless, of course, I can get that done this Wednesday and uh, see if someone else helps me, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Um, 
think at DU I'm more focused on Royal Rumbles and the Endurance right now. We'll see though. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and thanks for watching.